Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys. The tutorial I will be doing for you guys is going to be on how to do a split jump. I got this video requested by many people and I finally decided to do it for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we go on the ice, we want to warm up our body by doing some stretches so we don't injure ourselves on the ice and it's always good to have a brief warm up before you get on the ice. What I like doing for some stretches are side lunges because they help stretch out my legs. But you don't have to do these stretches. You can do whatever stretches you feel that stretch your body out nicely. Then I also like doing this other stretch where I place my feet out far away from each other and I lean down in the middle and I lean to each of my legs in the side so I get a stretch in all of my leg muscles so that they'll be nice and strong when I get onto the ice to skate. And you want to hold at all the stretches for at least 10 seconds or more so that you can get a nice good stretch. Since this video is on split jumps, you want to warm up all of your splits. One of the splits is the middle split or straddle split and this just helps you to stretch out your legs. Even though we're going to be doing a regular split jump, this just helps to have your legs nice and warm up. So you want to lean to the middle and you want to lean to both sides of your leg. Then you want to also do a butterfly and lean over over your toes. You, this, you don't have to do this, but it just helps you stretch out your hips so that you can do a nice split on the ice. Now we're gonna warm up our splits. Before you do any of your splits, you're gonna warm up your forward runner's lunge and your backward lunge so you can stretch out your legs nicely before you do your split and you want to repeat this on both legs so you can do the split on both legs to see which one you want to do when you get onto the ice. After you do your lunges, you want to go down into a split and you want to hold it for about 30 seconds each leg so that you can get a nice deep stretch in your legs. First we're going to start at the wall on the ice to do some on ice stretching exercises for your split jump. What you're going to do is you're going to stand by the board or the wall and you're going to place your leg in the air. It doesn't matter which one because you have to do it on both sides. 
Then you're going to bend your standing leg as far as you can go. So you are kind of doing a plie with one leg and the other leg is in like a split position on the wall. Then you're going to stand up and stretch your leg out the opposite way so that your leg doesn't hurt afterwards. And you want to repeat this on both sides. Then what you're going to do is you're going to stay in that wall position with one of your legs on the wall and the other on the ice and you're going to slide down into a split position on the wall. You can go as far as you can but you want to try and go as far as you can go down and try and make it as low as possible because this will affect how your split position will look in the air. Then what you also want to practice is you want to choose, do you want to do a mohawk or a three turn it into your split jump. So if you decide to do a mohawk, you're going to stand by the board, do a mohawk, kick your front leg up as high as you can, and then kick up your back leg as high as you can. Then bring them down. Well, you're gonna, for a three turn, you're going to do a three turn, put your toe pick into the ice, then you're going to kick up your front leg and bring the back leg up and then bring it down. Now we're going to move on to exercises that you're going to do while you're skating. The first exercise is when you decide if you want to do a mohawk or a three turn, you're going to do a, for a mohawk, you're going to do a mohawk, then place your toe into the ice and kind of do a flip jump. Just you're not going to rotate, you're just going to jump up straight in the air. So you kind of get the feeling of what it's like to do a split jump. Because you have to jump pretty high so that you can do your split in the air. You want to repeat this on both doing a mohawk and a three turn. So you can figure out which one you like doing better. The kicking exercise that we did on the wall, now we're going to try and do it gliding on the ice. This time you're only going to kick the first leg up first, which is the front leg. So you're going to do either a mohawk or a three turn, place your toe into the ice, and kick up your front leg as high as you can get it to go. And you want to try doing this again with a mohawk and three turn to see which one you like doing better. Now you're going to try and do the kicking exercises that we did on the wall, just off the wall and on the ice, and you're going to kick with both your legs. So you're going to do either a mohawk or a three turn, you want to try both to see which one you like better, and you're going to place your toe into the ice, kick up your front leg as high as you can, then step onto your front leg and kick the back leg up as high as you can. Then you're going to glide forward and stop. You want to repeat this on both legs and both mohawk and three turn. Next step is you want to practice your split on the ice. This isn't mandatory, but it might help with your split jump. So 
You can practice it if you want, but you don't have to. The ice is flying up in my face. Then, after you do all these exercises off ice and on ice, you're going to try your split jump. Don't worry if you don't get it perfect on the first try. It takes a couple of tries before you can do it perfectly. Even if you do it a couple times, you're not ever going to be able to do it perfectly because everything can have improvement. Nothing is ever perfect. But what you're going to try to do is you're going to try and do a mohawk or three turn, whatever is your decision. Put your toe into the ice and jump as high as you can and split your legs apart. There's also another variation of doing a split jump, which is kind of like more doing a split falling leap. You're going to start by doing backward crossovers on a circle or in a straight line. You're going to reach back like you're going into, into a Lutz and you're going to pick your toe into the ice. You're going to jump up as high as you can, split your legs and come down. And of course, since Dumbo made an appearance in my last tutorial video, he had to make an appearance in this one. This is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and that it helped you learn how to do a split jump. I want you guys to comment down below what's your favorite transitioning move. Mine is a split jump because they're so much fun to do and I also love doing them in my programs. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I love you guys, bye! Remember that part when I said that no matter how hard you work on something, it's never gonna be perfect, right? So, even though I've had my split jump for a couple years now, I still can't manage to do it perfectly. So here's a couple of fail videos of me doing my split jump. I hope you guys enjoy them.